Hey, what's up guys? It's Heidi. Um, so today I'm going to do the Your Life in Books tag, which is originally done by Danny on Books. Um, I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but it looked like fun. So I figured I'd do it. So let's get started. So the first question is find a book for each of your initials. And let's see. My first name is Heidi. So I wonder what book I could possibly choose for my first name. Um, this is not all of my copies of this book. I have more somewhere, but I don't know where they are right now. Um, so my middle initial is E. So I chose Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This is by far one of my favorite books. It's a great standalone fantasy book. If you have not read it and you like fantasy, like go get this right now. Like stop the video and go get this book. It is amazing. I recommend it to anybody who likes fantasy. My last initial is A, and I chose Artemis Fowl. If you haven't read this series, it's great. Um, it just finished like a year ago, the last book came out in the series, and I've heard that they're making it into a movie. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, good book. Alright, so the next question is to count your age along your bookshelf and find out what book it is. I'm 19, so I'm just going to start at the top. We'll see what, what shows up. Awesome. This is Relentless by Robin Parrish. It's probably my favorite book series in the entire world, but it's very not well known. I have it signed by the author. Um, I met him at his writer's conference. Um, so it's part of a trilogy called the Dominion Trilogy. It's really good. It's like modern fantasy mystery. It's really good. I cannot say enough good things about this book series. Okay. Alright, so the next question is find a book in set in your state, city, or country. Um, I haven't actually read any books set in Oregon in general, actually. I'm from Oregon, if you don't know. Um, but I'm going to cheat a little, and I'm going to choose Delirium, which is kind of, it's set in my country, but it's set in Portland, Maine, which is like Portland, Oregon, only across the country. I haven't actually read this. I promise I'm gonna get around to it soon. Um, I've had a lot more time to read lately, so this is this is high up on the list of things I need to read. All right, the next question is pick a book that represents a destination you would like to travel. I haven't picked one out yet, so I'm just gonna turn around and see if I can find one. I'm gonna cheat a little. This is not a place I'm ever gonna get to go, but this is Oxygen by Randy. Randy, Randall, it says Randall Ingermanson, most people call him Randy, and John Olson. Um, this is a book about going to Mars. I'd love to go to Mars. It would be awesome. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but it's still really cool. This is also a really good book series. Um, it's like near future going to Mars. It's really good. It's called Oxygen. Look it up. All right, so question five is pick a book that's your favorite color. Um, I have a really good one for this. It's The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Um, this is like a really, really pretty color. Um, it's very blue, or like teal, and it's got like the gold, which is also a really nice color. Um, so yeah, also a good book, if you haven't picked them up yet. Alright, the next question is, pick a book that you have the fondest memories of. And I had to get this in there somewhere. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, specifically this one. I used to go to these summer camps, and around the time of these camps, the Harry Potter books would come out, and this one came out during camp. And the next morning, um, after this came out on the way to the bus, it was completely silent because everybody had this book and everybody was reading it. Um, I don't think anybody talked that entire day because everybody was busy reading this, so that is a really good memory I have. I really love that camp. I really love this series, obviously. Who doesn't? <laughs> um, so yeah. Question seven is, which book did you have the most difficulty reading? And I have a very good answer for that, and it's Lord of the Rings. I have read them, but they're written, they're very slow to me. I love the books, like the movies and like the idea of the books, and I just really love them. But at the same time, they're a very slow read for me. Usually I don't like movie cover editions, but like this is really cool. And if you look at the spine, they, hold on. If you look at the spines of them, they form a picture, and it's really cool. 
Um, so yeah. And the last question is pick a book that is in your TBR pile that will give you the biggest sense of accomplishment. And I haven't read this yet. Um, I have all of them. Or no, I don't I have the first four. I don't have the last one yet because I haven't found it in this size and I want them to match. But I haven't read these yet and I really want to. I have it on audiobook. Um, but I'm currently going through Aragon in audiobook. So once I finish that, I might start this. I might read it. I'm not sure yet because I want to read it before I watch the TV series. I'm very excited for that day. Alright guys, and that's it for the Your Life in Books tag. If you haven't already, go check out Danny on Books video and check them all out. I have a really fun time looking through tag videos. Um, so go check those out. Make sure you like and subscribe and put down in the comments anything you'd like to see next or something you think I should read or anything like that. Put it down in the comments below. I'll see you next time. And I got a new camera, guys. Can you tell? I'm like in focus.